before valley flashing is installed, underlayment needs to be installed according to local building codes. The valley flashing is installed from the bottom and should run over the shingle panels coming up from below. Flashing should be installed to the top of the valley with any seams between pieces being overlapped a minimum 4 inches and properly sealed. When reaching the top of a valley, field cutting and hemming may also be required to create a proper seal. Valley flashing should be notched to create a tight fit and joining pieces should overlap with sealant applied for water tightness. Attach valley flashing with a couple of nails to hold in place and then fasten with galvanized screws to properly secure. Once the valley flashing has been installed, the adjustable starter can be placed in the valley and move slightly to create different open valley widths. The adjustable starter can be properly fastened in place using galvanized screws and the installation of valley clips. A short adjustable starter piece may also need to be installed horizontally at the bottom of the valley for a joining roof panel to lock into and provide a secure fit. Roofing panels entering a valley from the left will need to be measured for length and angle entering the adjustable starter. Each panel will also have to be field formed with a 180 degree bend on the cut side, so measuring should account for the additional material that's needed for the bend over. After a panel is properly cut, it can be slid into the adjustable starter and then fastened with screws. Roofing panels being installed to the right of a valley will also need to be measured, cut, and field formed to create a locking lip for the adjustable starter. Panels should be installed using a rubber mallet to help lock them into place and then checked for level to ensure a straight fit. Once again, panels should be fastened using galvanized screws through the shingle clips for a secure installation.